Check out the high gloss on that roasted chicken skin oh, and beautifully perfumed with Chinese five spice. This is one hell of a roast chicken recipe. This is my soy sauce roast chicken. So we are gonna get started on the marinade for this one, first of all, super simple, and I love it when it's really simple ingredients that then magically turn into something beautifully amazing at the end. Uh, so we're gonna start off with just a little bit of brown sugar, and there's always one, you know, like character defining ingredient in most recipes. And for us, it's this one, the Chinese five spice. Now, if you wanna figure out how to make Chinese five spice from scratch, and I highly recommend it, really fun, um, well, I think it's fun. <laughs> um, I do have a video on how to do that, so check it out on my channel. And then I want some soy sauce. And this one here is some dark sweet soy sauce. So dark sweet soy sauce is actually, even though it looks more intense, it's actually less salty than a regular soy sauce. The thing that we're using this ingredient for is to give us a really beautiful deep dark color. Now dark sweet soy sauce is also called ketchup manis in Indonesia. In Thailand we just call it sweet black soy sauce. Um, you can also just use regular dark soy sauce as well if you don't have the thick variety. So there you go, all about soy sauce. And then I want some ginger here, so I'm just going to peel this the spoon, which makes it just easier to get in all the little nooks and crannies, and then just grate that in. Just whisk that together. And now we're ready to add in our chicken. Now you just want to toss that chicken around in that marinade until it's evenly coated. Now this guy would totally benefit from like an overnight marinating time, um, but you guys know me, I am not usually that organized because you know, life. Um, so I'm gonna get this guy straight out onto my little prepared roasting pan. Uh, and what I've got here is I've lined my pan with foil, super important guys, because you know, we've got a sweet marinade here, it is gonna burn a little on the bottom and no one wants to be scrubbing burnt stuff off the bottom of your roasting pan. I certainly don't. Um, so foil on the bottom and then a baking rack on top. Baking rack lets you allow all of the hot air to evenly kind of get around the whole chicken. So a little bit of technique there. Just want to get my chicken out onto there now. And now a little bit more technique for roasting a whole chicken. I always like to stuff the cavity and it is kind of a little bit about flavor because some of that will permeate through the chicken as it roasts, but it's also about kind of um, filling that space on the inside of the chicken so that it doesn't all become just hot air that then cooks your chicken too much from the inside out and dries the breast out. So that's kind of the reason why you do a stuffing really. It's good to know why for these things. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do a lemon for mine. Just want some wedges here. And now we wanna tie the legs together and the reason we do this is that we wanna kind of make the chicken really compact. And that again is going to help protect that breast meat and try to keep it from drying out. Now our chicken is almost ready to get into the oven. What I want to do now is turn our leftover marinade uh, in the bowl into a basting liquid. So I'm going to add here some honey uh, and the honey, that sweetness in the honey is going to help with caramelizing the skin and making everything kind of deeply, darkly golden and luscious and amazing. Now I want to give this guy one little layer of basting before he goes into the oven. Make sure you get right in there. Now I'm gonna get this guy into the oven for 20 minutes and then we're gonna do some more basting. All right, this guy is smelling amazing. What I wanna do is give him another lashing of that beautiful marinade. And then back into the oven for another 20 minutes, we're just gonna do one last layer. Okay, we're starting to see some really good color here. Another layer of that marinade on here. And then this guy goes back in the oven for another half an hour or until it's cooked all the way through. All right, so kitchen is currently smelling amazing. Now, let's have a look at our chicken. Now, what happens a lot with like sort of sweet or dark soy sauce kind of roasts in the oven is that you can tend to get a little bit of burning. So what I do is if it starts to look too dark, I just pop some foil on top, which is what I did about 15 minutes ago. Um, so let's have a look. 
Wow, look at that glistening golden dark brown color. Oh, that looks so enticing. Now you can go lots of different ways with this chicken now. You can serve it whole at the table, carve it up for everyone. Uh, the thing I like to eat with this is just some steamed rice or even just your regular roast potatoes, whatever you like. Um, but let's get in here and have a look and I'll show you guys how to easily carve up your chicken. So string off first. And now we want to release our beautiful little legs and drumsticks, my favorite part. Just cut through there. And you can sort of see where you need to cut as you pull the leg away. And then you have your lovely leg. Now, legs are always in high demand at my place, so I like to cut them uh, through that joint uh, where the drumstick meets the thigh. And there you go, two pieces done. Keep going on the other side. And then now we want to tackle the breast. So you want to get in here close to that middle, where that middle bone should be. And just off to the side, just slice through there. And again, kind of pull the breast back so you can see where you're slicing. And you just want to slice really close to the bone as you go. Pull it away. And then you've got to get in, like in a little bit here to kind of release it at the end. Now just slice the breast piece into some nice chunks here. And there you go. Okay, now you just want a little bit of coriander in here for a little bit of greenery. And there you go guys, soy sauce, roasted chicken. Oh, check out that sticky glazed skin, oh, so exciting. I can't wait to get in here. Mm, that smell, that Chinese fire spice is so oh, beautiful. Let me see. Mm -hmm. That is just so luscious. I mean, that chicken skin is just sticky and glazed and that beautiful spice sort of aroma and flavor goes all the way through the chicken meat. Mm. So totally, um, mm. I hope you guys love this one too. So good.